hey hello welcome so today we're going to look at the essay stars who have been on our screens for years most of them ruled during the 80s and 90s era the first one is henry kele he was the biggest sa footballer and played the role of shaga zulu in one of the biggest tv films in 1986 and the ghost of the darkness in 1996 sadly he passed away in november 2007 Second one is Joe Mafela. He's a South African actor, singer, and popularly known as a comedian to most people as Dumo. Stirring in it's good, it's nice. Unfortunately, he also passed on March 2017. Nimrod Gosi is a TV presenter and actor, and he was a host on Jim Ailey and also was an actor in the Zulu drama Obambolam in 1994. Mary Twala was an actress that was deeply involved in theater and film. During the 80s, she backed big roles in Ingomo El Dayodo in 1989, Ubizo, and Serafina. Tina Chaka, the actress, started out in SABC's um, Generations drama as Priscilla Mtembu, then joined SABC Isi Dingo the Need as Lorraine Lomo. She is 52 years old and appeared on films such as Old Ball Hall in 1990, The Bird Can Fly in 2007. Siputla Sibokhodi started out in a local baby drama called Bupilo Gisi Mpeho playing the role of Ngwe Sheng and in Generations as Kenneth Mashaba in 2005. Silo Magega Ngobe as Archie Murok on SPC1 in Generation, even so back then he had dreadlocks. He also appeared in Homeland as Vusi in 1996 and Hearts and Minds as Peters in 1995. Marilou, the singer and actress, acted as Catherine Mukwebo in SPC2 TV drama Mukwebo in 1997 and Takes It to Soweto in 1991. Lillian Dube acted as Sister Bettina in the hit drama Soul City, Generations, Sweet and Short, that was in 1991, and There's a Zulu on My Stoop in 1993. Connie Ferguson, who is the biggest producer, filmmaker, actress, is popularly known for her role as Garabo Moroka in Generations, which she acted since 1994 until 2010. Then she became a full-time actress and producer in Ferguson Phillips. Thank you for listening and see you next time.